It's too hard to mm. chew. Well, you're not supposed to eat a whole patty full of it. I didn't. <laughs> I thought you, you had the fistful. What's going on, everybody? It has been a while since we filmed at a 99 Ranch. Woo! And yes, that is officially the name. It's not Ranch 99, it's 99 Ranch. Facts. If you guys have been to an Asian supermarket lately, you guys will notice a few things. One, they are modernizing. Two, they're probably a little bit cleaner. And three, the snack aisle has way more variety than it used to. Woo! It be coming up with some flavors that you would never even think of. Hey, did you see that even the white rabbit candy has a whole oh diverse product God, right man. now? Growing up, all you know is just white rabbit. Yo, guys, you know what's funny? We always talk about Asian representation in entertainment, but I'm talking about Asian representation in the snack aisle now. Ooh. Yeah. Man, we've been talking a lot about snacks, and y'all know how I like my snacks, man. Let's just go try some. Nelson got the taste buds of an ant, I'm telling you. <laughs> he can sense that sugar from a mile away. All right, guys, we're gonna go get a bunch of snacks. We're gonna see which flavors are new to us, and then we're gonna tell you what we think. New, new Asian, Asian snacks, snacks. Let's, let's go. go. Guys, man, we, did, we didn't get fully through the chip aisle, but it, you just gotta get started at some point. Immediately, the thing that caught me off guard is I never thought that these old school Cantonese shrimp chips were gonna uh, modernize. Uh, I was cool. gonna say, I'm surprised that they're still around. And then I'm su surprised that they expanded their product line to all these different flavors. And I'm kind of surprised that they expanded the product line, but not the logo. But nowadays, it's got a little bit like that retro hipster feel. This would almost be the equivalent of different types of fortune cookies. Hey, are you surprised that it's from Chino, California? Let's try it here. I got sour cream and onion, cheese, barbecue. I'm not gonna lie, the cheese one, not a lot of cheese flavor. Okay. Are these sour cream and onion? Not even the barbecue. That's the thing about these shrimp snacks, they're, they're lacking in flavor. I will say this though, Asian flavors, when it comes to snacks, they tend to be a little bit less intense. You gotta show me something on this chip, man. You gotta show me something. <laughs> so Kalbi is a brand from Japan, but it makes, it, you might think it's from Korea, but it's not called Galbi. That, dude, these shrimp chips have been around for like 50 years, so of course they gotta come up with some new flavors. If you guys know in wait, Japan, wait, wait, wait. they love having like a trillion oh, versions of everything. Oh. Their Kit Kats, I think they got like, I don't even know. I, I don't want to get the number wrong, but I think they might have like 400 well, different flavors of Kit Kat. I'll tell you this. There's, wow. 100, there's over 130 flavors of high chews. Oh, no, I got yuzu and black pepper. I got hard garlic. Okay. Heart garlic. And I got the wasabi. Here's the thing about Calbee. They also make these snap peas snacks that actually have made it into the American grocery stores. Do I got to try it? Yo, this yuzu hold and on, pepper joint. Hold on, can I build up to that one? Let me, let me build up. Is it fire though? Let me try the wasabi one here. The consistency of the size. Okay. <laughs> yuzu. Black pepper. Huh? The use of black pepper is the yeah. winner. The winner. <laughs> okay. Reminds me of like the, a dish at a restaurant, like you get like on a your, your snakes or something. Well, they use a lot of yuzu on like steaks and your yakitori and yeah. stuff. No, no, black pepper steak. Yeah, you know? yuzu, yuzu black pepper steak. Yeah. That's the winner right there. Yeah. It, is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Wow. Shout out to product diversity. We covered this in our Korean convenience store video. Honey butter blew up in Korea. Yeah. And, and if you guys have been on top of your Asian snack game, you might have seen these for a while. No, have you had uh, honey butter stuff? No. No? I All right. Well, here. Nelson. I'll be the first one. I don't know how I feel about this, man. <laughs> what? Light, sweet, buttery. What do you not like? It's good. I feel like it's not as salty and uh, savory that I would want in a chip. Though. Two years ago, when honey butter really blew up, mm -hmm. I was more into it. Well, you are you are hype beast for the honey butter. It's not bad, but I don't know if it'll like stand the test of time. Besides the saltiness of the chip, there's not much you know sa savory stuff. Like the steam cakes. I just know it's full of deliciousness. Hey, you know that this is legit because look, the import stickers. Yeah. If they haven't redone the packaging for American consumption, that's when you know that this is like really from Japan. Uh, I have a strawberry one, I have a chocolate one, you have a honey one, and you got the cheese one. Hey, this confectionery will bring you happiness. You will just love the taste, a heartwarming time. Please enjoy your tea time with this. A, a sweet time will be given at a tea time when people relax leisurely or a short time for a pleasant chat. They got a message for y'all, man. 
I haven't opened up a present in a while. I kind of feel like this is like Christmas. Yo, I feel kind of decadent right now. Oh. Yeah, I know my birthday's in two weeks, guys. Come on now. <laughs> no, uh, if you guys know in Japan, oh God. in Japan, they love packaging. This is not in the regular section, though. This was at the end of the aisle. They're, this, they're advertising and pushing this product. This is a like, premium. Yo, this is a new premium. product. Check this out. That's like, ha right, it's see, like when you right. walk into the Foot Locker and then the shoes at the front entrance. That's the shoe they're showing off. That was these. Yo, All right, I have the chocolate steam cake. I got the honey steam cake. I got the cheese. I got feeling. Mm. I got feeling cool. It reminds me of the Tokyo banana. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that comes in the banana shape. Yeah. Immediately, I enjoy it. It took me to Japan with the whole experience. I don't think it's an instant classic. I think this is more for the older generation that's actually gonna sit down with tea and have a nice like drink with it because it's not the most moist thing. You're gonna need some type of liquid or beverage to accompany this. And you know what it is too? The kids, they don't necessarily like things that are like steamy and moist that aren't fresh. Like, Let's try this last flavor. This is a strawberry one. It, it kind of reminds me of a mochi concept. A little bit. Kind of like a cake. spongy little cake right here. This now, one? I, this is my this favorite. Is more flavorful. Oh, this yeah. is the best one. This is the best, best one. one. Oh, you can never go wrong with strawberry flavor, man. The filling though, I thought that was the best filling. Asian snack out. You know one thing I noticed is like Asian snacks, they don't care about advertising like, yo, 5% real ingredients. But I will tell you, I, I choose does advertise that they're gluten free now. But they've always been gluten free. The strawberry rice crackers. Yeah, the store. Hello Kitty. The Senbei rice crackers. All right, so you know how to get this because this is the new Hello Kitty Times Senbei collab. They're strawberry flavored rice. Taiwanese version of these, it's uh, MSG flavored. Right. But it's still a rice cake. The J Japanese ones have always had the white frosting. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know why Chinese food gets bad at rap for MSG. Japanese people use MSG. Hello. MSG was Everything. invented in Japan. Oh, it's okay when the Japanese do it. But it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, lick it. A little bit, barely, barely strawberry flavor. I don't taste any at all. I do think it's a lot for the aesthetics, um, but there's a little bit of flavor in there. Would still prefer this over the original. Similar. If you're a kid, you would give that to the, your crush rather than the original package. For sure, for <laughs> sure. This one has so much kawaii built into it, man. We got the Kulu Guas, huge snack in Taiwan. So they look like Twisted Fritos. Here's the thing, these are made out of peas. They also have two grams of fiber per serving. Wow. So I don't know, Nelson. I'm just saying this might count as a serving of vegetables. Instead of eating real vegetables, I'm eating these all day now. Okay. <laughs> First flavor I'm trying is the spicy. Should we all try one original? Try the just original. to get, get the just get the base flavor. So you know you understand. These are from Taoyuan. This oh, tastes like good. a really healthy chip. Wow. It does, it does. No, no try this basil though. The basil? Wow. You're literally eating like a basil leaf. <laughs> that Wow. Did a heck of a job imitating basil. Wow. Basil. I like spicy. Try the spicy. Yo, hello, boys. Bringing it. Wasabi. Wasabi. You can see I like the little leaf. Uh, I got a little green on there. I think it's easy to put wasabi powder on anything. It's already powder. Yeah, right? yeah. Just sprinkle it on. Okay. I got to say, that I think after trying everything, the basil's the winner, man. Yeah. Yo, Wait, you guys we got spoke one too we soon. Open. You spoke too soon. Oh. This is the lemon and pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. Shout out to all the Himalayans we know, especially in New York City. I'm not like that into this flavor, but they did a good job of replicating it. This is the pink lemonade. The basil is the... <laughs> I'll say this, because not a lot of brands want to venture into basil flavored snacks. Yep. So I got to give them credit. They went with the basil. Hey, yeah. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm licking my lips, and there's a lot of MSG on them. Mm. Mm. There's nothing wrong with MSG. It's like salt. Too much salt is bad for you. Too much, a lot of things are bad for you. Our next snack from the chip aisle is the tempura seaweed. These are seaweed sheets that are fried with a side of tempura. This flavor I have is the spicy flavor. I have the tempura flavor, which is the original style. Okay. I got kimchi. Hey. In previous videos, we have covered the previous way that uh, seaweed was presented. It was two major kinds. There was a Japanese version in the bin, mm -hmm. and you could get it spicy or non-spicy. Mm -hmm. And then there was a Korean version that was like uh, more sesame flavored. Mine is a little different from you guys. Mine is uh, not tempura seaweed, mine just grilled seaweed. Oh, okay. Whoa. A little different, a little different. It's from Thailand. Yeah, product of Thailand. See, you assumed it was Japanese. Yeah. All right. Tempura seaweed. And grilled. The crispiest the seaweed I've ever eaten. I had to wait three seconds for it. The wow. crisp and the flavoring that, Explosion. It is. It no, is. when you talk, that's a Taekwondo kick. That's actually spicy. I can eat this all day. 
I think I like grilled seaweed better than I like fried seaweed. Yeah. yeah. All right, now we're moving on to the section of dried squid. Now this was a section that was kind of hard to see if they had modernized, but there's a couple standouts here. God, we got the Sam Yang flavor. Sam Yang, popular for their spicy ramen bowls. Hot Sorry. chicken flavored. Hot chicken. I mean, uh, I would say in. Korean hot chicken has become very popular. Hot chicken squid. Take some time to not that hot yet. Kick in, right? I'm waiting. It does taste more like chicken than like squid. It's sort of missing that sea like umami. In Canto, we call it sang mei. Sang mei. Yeah, basically, that it, seafood smell. But or it taste. doesn't really have it, right? No. Shirakiku brand mm. smoked squid. Uh, this is probably one of the mm. the reason we OG brands. Yeah. Yo, did you smell it? It's got a really strong smoke flavor. Whoa! This is smoked squid. Hey, you ain't want no smoke. Oh, but don't want no smoke, smoke, smoke. You know, you see how this shreds. Tastes <laughs> good, but I don't enjoy it's a eating lot of it. smoke. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. to chew. Well, you're not supposed to eat a whole patty full of it. I didn't. <laughs> I <laughs> thought you, you had the fistful. <laughs> we'll say this is one of the more moist dried squids out there. And maybe they developed this flavor for the American audience. <clears throat> I was gonna say that I kind of like original spicy. No, it's always cool to try new flavors. You know, it's cool to try new things, but sometimes certain products, the best thing is the OG. Yeah. I felt like the sweetness was overtaking the squid flavor, and if you're, when you're eating dried squid, you want to feel the squid. Yeah. That was just round one. I was fascinated, obviously, by the steam cakes, yeah. uh, by some of the new basil flavors. I was a big fan of that yuzu pepper shrimp chip. Okay. That was interesting, because you know a lot of people don't want to venture into yuzu, but yuzu is like a, a citrus, kind of like sour flavor, so that kind of replaces lemon a lot of the time. Man, I really like that, that kimchi seaweed, that grilled one, mm, uh, just because of the way they made it, you know how it's so thin and crisp, it was a new, um, you know, new way of eating. Kimchi has obviously been a flavor that's been around for a long time, you know, in terms of like, you know, snacks and stuff, but just the way they made the seaweed was really interesting. Hey, I felt like as far as new flavors that, you know, a lot of people did not grow up with, I mean, we covered a lot of them. Yeah. Between, you're talking about yuzu, basil, hey, yo. kimchi, all right, you guys, that does it for round one, AKA the savory aisle, the chip aisle. Stay tuned for the sweet aisle round two in the next video. We hitting the candy aisle, my favorite. Shout out to 99 Ranch. Until next time, we out. Peace. And by the way, guys, make sure you let us know in the comment section below which Asian snack you would like to see expanded flavors of.